With the United States reeling from one bloody blow after the other, President Michael Dugan today called to European allies from an unknown location. I now ask for your help. The United States was Romanov's first target. Join our fight, or we will not be his last. French General René Lyon has asked for a massive Allied commitment, but so far the countries have been slow to... Uh... Comrade, it appears we have overestimated the cowardice of our European neighbors. It seems the French gathered together with the German army along the Polish border. But these fools have left their homelands exposed. Show them the meaning of Soviet irony. Invade Paris and use our Tesla technology to short-circuit their plans. Leave nothing. Incoming from Greetings to you all and listen up. If you are prepared, the general, your strike team is assembled in Paris. I always like the city of lights. Pity we cannot be there in person when the lights go out. Welcome back to Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. What to say, I like the way Romanov talks of the European nations. He says the words French and Germans with such venom. It resonates with me. As a joke, we're okay, but we're, we're, we're alright now, the Europeans. We get along kind of alright-ish. This is the best we've ever done. Until the football starts and then it's, you know, every man for himself. But we're doing alright. But let's crack on anyway. So we are in Paris. And the French did not think to garrison the buildings, which means they're going to lose. Now this is the level that I referred to earlier as being... Wait a minute, wait a minute, I've got a better idea for that. As being the level that I think of automatically whenever I think of Red Alert 2. And anyone who's played this game knows what's coming up. I think it's pretty iconic. So, step one. Success. Why you'd fortify your position around a load of explosive barrels, I don't know. You had all the time in the world to set this up, and you did poorly. Speak to me. I think you will like this, General. The demolitions expert known as Crazy Ivan is among your forces here. He will be well suited for the task at hand. Now, I'm not sure in modern society we can get away with creating a Russian mad bomber called Crazy Ivan. But in classic 2000s, we could do whatever the hell we liked. Crazy Ivan, he puts bombs on things. Bombs will then eventually explode. Not that close to my barracks. N not that close to my army. Perhaps I picked the wrong civilian to mess with here. He's out to get us. Okay. Uh, that was closer than it needed to be. But he puts bombs on things, and after a while, and when I say a while, I mean a damn long time, the bomb will explode. Let's try it on this guy. Curses. We'll try again in a minute. Is, th is this intended? This might actually be intended. I was doing it for comedy value, but this makes sense. Now that I think about it. You give me a moving unit. And a bunch of barrels. This is either going to be the greatest moment, or a civilian vehicle is going to blow up in the middle of nowhere. It's 50-50 which way it's going to go. I don't need to do this. I could just garrison this building and shoot the barrel. It's easy. But I'm lost for words. I cannot believe that happened. Can I destroy this lamp? No, I can't. Ivan. He's a genius with the bombs, but he is not the brightest when it comes to traffic laws. Also, I'd like to point out these traffic lights are displaying red, amber, and green all at the same time. I don't know what's going on in France, but it's not right. Thank you. Okay, he's strapped. He's ready. It's not going to blow up in time, is it? He's going to blow up over here somewhere. Oh no, maybe? Maybe? These guys? So close. So damn close. That could have been a thing of beauty, and I kind of want to make it work, but... 
at the same time, I kind of want to just win the mission. So I'll show you plan B. Plan B is called One Conscript. See you later, guys. One Conscript, take two. Wow, what are the French buildings made of? They're incredibly weak. Oh, well, let's just go in the intended way. We don't need to send the engineers in. That seems a bit over the top. But we have a clear goal in mind. I can build units, but obviously a limited amount. I have a limited amount of funding. However, there is a source of infinite funding over here. So step one is to secure the money. You know what, let's just deal with this before I end up blowing up my own team. Unit lost. Unit None of these units are particularly a threat. IFEs are so weak they can just be taken out by conscripts. Tanks are handled pretty comfortably by Tesla troopers. Well, very comfortably. Would you keep giving me these? It's a 50-50. Either I put a bomb on it and it's going to drive off and do something impressive, or I blow it up and there's going to be a money crate underneath it. But it's a real guessing game as to which way it goes. I'm going to blow this one up. And our survey says... Nothing. We'll get some conscripts. Can't go wrong with those. I want to use Crazy Ivans as much as possible in this mission. It seems to be intended for their use, but... Yeah, screw this building. Unit ready. Structure abandoned. There's the troopers can't enter buildings. For some reason. I guess that don't fit through the door because their suits are quite big. Yeah, that'll do. The truth of this mission is it probably goes better if I just build nothing but conscripts. Conscripts are ridiculous, let's be honest here. Take over this cafe? Hotel? Gotta be a hotel. There's too many rooms. Why did I say cafe? These two must have a rivalry, and they've gone for a very similar style. Slight different roofs, though. Interesting. Interesting. Training. Unit ready. You want to admire the delivery man who, in the midst of all this chaos, is still going about his duty. He's got a certain number of packages he needs to deliver, and he's gonna get it done. I see that barrel. You know, I had no idea that Paris was just layered with explosives here, there, and everywhere. This is quite accurate. The French do love their football. I'm not convinced they love to play it in the middle of a intersection, but maybe. But, oh, that, that, maybe. There's no reason why you couldn't play it here, except if somebody kicks the ball out of the field, it's just going to go into the road and get run over. But aside from the very serious threat of bodily harm, it's a pretty nice place to play. Is this... Is Joan of Arc? Who is this? Joan of Arc is basically the only French historical figure I know, so everything I see is going to be Joan of Arc, by the way. It could be a man with a beard, it's going to be Joan of Arc. Excuse me, we're taking over this football pitch in the name of Mother Russia. Not sure what the tanks were doing here, maybe just spectating? Let's calm down with the expenditure. I might need to build engineers or something coming up. You never know. And whilst I have infinite money, it's not, it's not quick. I've secured the Paris shoreline. Okay. 
Makes sense to me. So I have been rewarded with the Tesla Troopers. Now we haven't even seen the best bit of the mission yet, which I presume is here, because this is barricaded. Good effort, mate. You will be remembered. As a failure, but remembered. Nevertheless. I'm sure there's a more tactical way to crack you into this building, like down here where it's less defended. But what you're missing is the fact that I have buildings to garrison. And that means victory is certain. Oh, I see. There's barrels. Unit lost. Unbelievable. How did I lose? Structure abandoned. There must be a better way to, to get in here. Probably coordinating my attacks in one area rather than just divvying it up across the whole fortified base. Or walking in with my units that are actually good against buildings and vehicles. That's probably the intended method. I get to keep this, do I? Alright. You go for a little jolly. But we've opened a way in for us. The Eiffel Tower. Listen up. This is important. Comrade General, we must move closer to the tower. We are to secure a good charge. Oh, yes. Unit. And we want to secure a good charge. This is such a cool idea. Unit promoted. Maybe I'm just easily pleased, I don't know. By the way, let me prove my sense of culture. Arc de Triomphe? Maybe. Joan of Arc? Maybe. Eiffel Tower? Maybe. No, th that is. I know that one. It is time. What is a Tesla coil? It is a coil of metal. And I'm, I think there's probably scientifically a bit more that goes into it than that. But no, there isn't. That's it. Wait, wait. Am I just... No, don't destroy it. That's not the plan. You made a slight mistake there. Something's going wrong. Okay, here we go. This is what I was expecting. So, the Eiffel Tower. It's just a huge spire of metal. And what does that mean? It's essentially a Tesla coil. It looks kind of similar in shape. It's made of metal. That's good enough. As I say, I'm sure in so terms of science, it's not quite that simple, but... Come on. In terms of this game, that's all the science that goes into it. So now what I have is the world's most powerful Tesla coil. And it's being supercharged by my Tesla troopers. If anything comes anywhere near me, it's just going to die instantaneously. Mission accomplished. We're out of here. And let's just think about what this means from a global standpoint. If anyone moves anywhere in Paris, they're going to get ripped to shreds by the Eiffel Tower. Which keeps getting called the Paris Tower. I don't know why. But they're going to get ripped to shreds by the Eiffel Tower. That's a delicious sense of irony. Also, I remember this level being a lot longer than that. I thought you had to defend it for 10 minutes or something. but uh, And it basically soloed the entire enemy army that came at you. That was what my brain told me. My brain was wrong, as it often is. But hey, I turned the Paris Tower into a super weapon. Great. Next time I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one more Soviet mission. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.